John, the Human Genetics Commission also found out that ethnic minorities are highly overrepresented on the DNA database. For example, over three quarters of all young black men in Britain are already on this database. And also the samples of innocent people is much higher than previously thought. But the most worrying bit about the report is probably that police officers seem to arrest people only in order to obtain their DNA data. A former senior police officer has been quoted in the report. Um, it is apparently understood by serving police officers that one of the reasons, if not the reason, for, for the change in practice is so that the DNA of the offender can be obtained. There has been no statement by the Home Office so far, but I'm sure that Home Secretary Ellen Johnson won't be so pleased by those findings. One in four government databases are fundamentally flawed and break the law. That's a damning assessment of an independent think tank. The Foundation for Information Policy Research says too much of our personal information is shared too widely, and it's calling for several major databases to be scrapped. Here's Rory Kathleen Jones. Just what does the government know about you? More and more of your information is held on public databases. That, according to today's report, is a threat to your privacy, which could even be illegal. So, here's where your data may end up as you go through life. As a child in England, you'll be on Contact Point, which lists all children, and you could be on the National Obesity Database. As a teenager, your mobile phone calls and emails could be tracked by a new communications database. And as an adult, you'll appear on the National Identity Register when you get a passport and the TV licensing database. But does it matter? It's an infringement of my civil liberties, and I, I object most strongly to it. David Cramner isn't happy to be on the DNA database. He was arrested because he was carrying his sculptor's knife, then released without charge. I just came home, and, and I've, now I've got this, after one little mistake, I've got this permanent record that's going to potentially affect me in decades to come. Then there's the security question. This online questionnaire lists 28 examples of breaches in public and commercial databases over recent years. I'm going to try it out. Well, the results show that my data could have been lost four times and has certainly gone missing on three occasions. What is clear is that an awful lot of personal data is being lost from these databases. Now that millions of people's details can be stored on a tiny device, it's all too easy for data to be lost. But the government insists that its databases are safe and necessary. We always take all issues of privacy very seriously, but, but these databases are there in the public interest, no other reason. We've got to remember they help fight crime, they help detect crime, uh, they help improve public services, and actually they can help put right injustices. But today's report says Britain is pouring billions of pounds into building a database society without real evidence that it's of benefit to us all. People who commit minor offences should be placed on the DNA database for life. That's the view of some police officers responding to a Home Office consultation on extending police powers. They say they'd like speeding drivers or people who drop litter to be treated in the same way as serious criminals. Speeding, fair dodging and even dropping litter, the type of offences that under this proposal, if committed, could lead to a person having their DNA sample taken and put on a database. Your name's not nice and wide for me. At the moment, this only happens when someone is arrested for a recordable offence, exactly where the punishment is normally imprisonment. But several of the police officers who responded to a consultation document want DNA powers extended. Those in favour argue it would make future crimes easier to solve, but not everyone's convinced. It's ludicrous. I mean, it's rather, it's as ridiculous as the Association of Chief Police Officers calling for indefinite detention of terrorist suspects. It's as ludicrous as that. I mean, you listen to what police say, but really you don't act upon it. This is one step away from taking DNA at birth. Concerns are the samples would remain on the database, even if the person was cleared. That could damage someone's job prospects. And there's worry about the number of young children already held on the system. The Home Office says they haven't made any decisions yet, and before they do, the public will be asked their views in a consultation next year.